Welcome, people of Earth and elsewhere, to Spam Crackers Watches JoJo. Once upon a time, I said that the Metallica fight in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure involved uh, the most terrifying stand I had ever been witness to, and that's just getting off of the notorious B.I.G. fight. So here we are. I decided that I'm going to watch it and hopefully have it recorded for everyone to see as I watch my greatest fears be realized. That might not be entirely true, but here we go. Also, nobody's going to be able to hear any sound except for the occasional comment that I make because, well, uh, YouTube sucks like that. And the cropping on the video is also going to be strange, so you're going to have to be reading the subtitles to know what's going on. And, by the way, I might be spewing some spoilers in this video, so if you don't want that, then by all means, do not watch this video. Because I am going to have some comments to make. Also, um, editing. There's going to be lots of editing. Boop. Let's go. The thing about the new opening is I don't see any allusions to a certain surprise character who's going to be showing up soon. Like, really soon. I hope people are looking forward to that. Maybe I'm just looking, not looking hard enough. He was born with two personalities, that's interesting. So frogs are beautiful? Why? That doesn't make any sense. Why would you be pickaxing the floor in order to build something next to this room? I really do think that Araki is good at writing things that are scary, but not consistent. I think that's that's a common thing. We all know that it's not really consistent, but definitely scary. It's Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh boy. There he is. It's for the boss. Because I'm not the boss. Ring, ring, ring. This guy's off his knocker. Don't do anything suspicious. Like holding up a... Ooh. How? Oh, I know what his ability is. Is only like half of your fake talking right now? <laughs> He's just sitting there like that. Uh-oh. What was that? What was that motion? You're an unfortunate individual. I don't feel so good. Ah, so that's what that very theatrical fall. That's what that was. <laughs> His hair is weird. I know this is anime, but I still- I don't understand how it works. Yep. Uh-oh. 
Oh. Yep, that's still, that's still really nasty. Wow. For future reference, there's really not enough iron in your body in order to make that happen. Trademark Japan. Stainless steel. Ring ring. Ring ring ring. Oh boy. I know! I know what it is. That's a trippy visual right there. Oh. <sighs> It'll be interesting to see Metallica show up in here. And Silver Chariot. We've still got to see the scissors. That'll be fun. Oh. That's a lot of nope. The needles weren't as bad as I thought they were going to be. And they just kind of disappeared. I'm not sure if that's an animation error or something. I mean, I don't think it would be. Again, Iraqi's good at writing things that are horrifying, but not consistent. And maybe it's the inconsistency that makes them so horrifying. This image, right here. Here we go. Metallic. I can live with that name change. That's a cool effect. With the hair and everything. I know how he's going to attack. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> I I wouldn't be looking forward to this uh I wouldn't be looking forward to this encounter either. Unpleasant. <laughs> How do you prepare yourself for something like that? <laughs> and here <clears throat> just read the subtitles I don't have to look at what's actually happening you don't know what a stand is how do you know that they has touched you
He's only got one arm. Because it's only part of King Crimson. <laughs> yeah, I forgot that someone had mentioned it a little while ago. I'd forgotten about the invisibility thing. And I still don't know how it works. Nope. It's the resolve they keep talking about in this show. In this part specifically. I saw it too. Scissors again. I think that scissors like that wouldn't be able to cut off a foot, but, you know, it's JoJo, so who cares? Well, you are bleeding quite a bit. I think it's the position of the scissors. And then the force of him running away that would cut off the foot? Bearing in mind that he's saying all of this out loud. It's all tension. Why the frog, though? Again, not sure the scissors would be able to do that, but whatever. <laughs> oh. Poor frog. Not as lucky as the one in Phantom Blood. Where's the phone? This one I don't remember. I remember the ice cream and the toy phone. I almost feel bad because Nero's actually a pretty cool character. Oh, here we go. There it is. There's Metallica. And now it has the black spots. Who are you right now? Not exactly medical staples, but I suppose that works. I suddenly wonder how often he's had to do that to himself. Although, according to him, not- that might be the first time he's had to. Because no one's ever seen him before when he's being an assassin. I think we all want to. Metallic. That's all. Metallic. <laughs> Scalpels were getting those part three flashbacks.
it, it's not as much... It's not as much iron as they make it look like. Not the needles again. That was a nice shot. Science! Uh-oh. Lots of dead air. They're all nut bars. And that's why you have to die. And their handedness, apparently. You're forgetting... Aerosmith. Oof. Bye bye, Metallic. Ah. Bye bye. And that's that. Yep. Metallic is still horrifying. But I did it! Not sure if I ever said I was going to before this, but I did it. <sighs> I watched the Metallica fight. It still makes me shiver. It's. Like a lot of things in JoJo, especially Part 5 currently, it's disconcerting to see. Hey, there's Metallica! It was exciting, though. If nothing else, it was fun to watch, if not completely horrifying. And I don't even know how many times I've said that. <sighs> but, as I said, I watched it. We'll just watch the credits scroll, and I'll thank anybody who decided to watch this. Next week, or the week after that, we're going to meet our very special friend coming back. Um, let's think here. Should I just say what's going to happen next? I mean, I suppose most of the people watching this channel already have seen Part 5, so, um... We're going to be saying goodbye to Obakio very quickly and very soon. But you've already seen that the boss has been, uh, targeting him specifically because of Moody Blues. Diavolo. We still haven't seen what he actually looks like, but we're getting close. And with that, we are finished. Thank you everybody for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video, whenever that'll be. Ciao!